So after the judge in the D.C. Superior Court granted our motion, we had the opportunity to call our client and let him know that he was going to be released. And having that opportunity to be in communication with him throughout the process and also the opportunity to call him and let him know that he was going to be released from incarceration after 33 years was one of the most memorable experiences I've had as a attorney to date. He put um, a lot of faith and trust in me and I'll never forget uh, when I first introduced myself to him and was right up front honest and said, you know, I am an intellectual property attorney. <laughs> and to his credit, he rolled with it. From that point on, I put in, you know, everything I had knowing that he had put trust and faith in me. And I got to tell him that he was going home. And this was a couple weeks um, before Christmas. So, I mean, you can't, you can't buy that, right? That was one of the most special moments. I first shared the news of his release with his mom who laughed, cried, sang, cheered, and yelled all at the same time. I cried too. We were so happy and so relieved because unfortunately COVID-19 had been spreading rapidly at the facility where my client was detained. And we were so worried that he would get sick before the judge ruled on his motion. I've been fighting for 29 years, you know, by myself trying to, you know, uh, get home to my, to my family and to, and to receive the legal representation, you know, from this program meant the world to me. For me to learn, of all the hard work that my lawyer put in to to fight, you know, on this compassionate release and for the judge to grant it, it brought tears to my eyes because I finally been released after 29 years and three months. And for my family to see me out there in the free world, it's a gift that keeps on giving. I was at, I was at risk sitting in that prison. It was infested with coronavirus and it was just a big relief after doing 19 years in prison and it was just a relief, man, and I thank God. I thank God, and, and I, I thank John for, for helping and for being there, for answering all my questions and, and accepting all of my calls, and I just thank him for that. And I was so, so surprised when he knocked on the window, and I looked through the window, and there he was. We had a Merry Christmas, and definitely for a long time I hadn't been able to share the New Year's with him. I called his sister Julia and you know we both cried on the phone. Um, she was just so happy after all this time um, and then I called his daughter and she was she just screamed on the phone. She was at work and she was so excited um, and then the next day is when we actually got to talk to our client about it um, and he already knew his uh, his case counselor had told him but I think he wanted to hear it from us um, to really to really believe it. It means a lot to me because one of the greatest things that an inmate look forward to, and that is being free, being able to be back in the community, to participate in community activities. Again, I was shocked and I say, wow, this can't be happening. This can't be happening to me. And I was somewhat like, I, could, I, I still couldn't believe it. I still couldn't believe it. And not until she said, well, you're going to be released on such and such a date. 